Mark Moore, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I don't think we usually ask the question, what is the meaning of your life? Or why we live? What is this 60, 70, 80 years all about? But as we search the scriptures and learn from the early fathers and apostles of the Holy Church, we get better understanding. That is, the Creator made us not like a little boy having a toy that he plays with and enjoys. No, the Creator made us to partake of his very life, not only limited with our 60, 70 years of life on earth, but then the eternity where is no time. Some time ago I saw this news which I, I think you may have seen it too, of um, some 21 or more uh, Christians, they are known as Coptic Orthodox uh, Christians, who were uh, caught by the radical, uh, fanatic, uh, anti-Christian religious group. And they were taken to a distant place and each one of them were asked the question, would you deny Christ and acknowledge our God? Without having a conference among themselves, each one of these orthodox Coptic believers, they all said the same thing our faith, our love of Christ means to us more than our very life. We cannot deny our God. The result, with a sharp sword, all their heads, each one, were cut off. Strange, other day I thought about it and it kind of scared me. Scared me in the sense, I just was shocked into thinking, oh my goodness, is this real? But it was. It was, but today it is happening all over the world. Why do we think this is a strange thing when God Almighty who created the whole universe, the billions of galaxies, came to earth as a human being to redeem us and sacrifice his life willingly on the cross? The Lord Jesus Christ. And then he called us to follow in his footsteps. And this Sunday, as our lectionary based on the Holy Church goes, it is the boldness of faith. And the first passage, obviously, we read is in Acts chapter 7, verse 55 to 60, the story of St. Stephen. He was not an ordained priest or bishop. He was just an elder, a worker in the local parish. Yet he was so filled with the life of God and the fear of God, and he was willing and able to proclaim 
about the Lord Jesus Christ to a people that he knew possibly would stone him to death or oppose him. But think with me. What is the secret of his life that gave him such boldness not to deny or go away from his faith. It was he saw Jesus standing in heaven. No explanation what Jesus said. But I imagine said, son, don't worry. This world is not your home. You're coming home. And he embraced the pain and the agony with joy for what was to come beyond life on earth. So, here you are. You know, I just found out that or nearly three lakhs people are born on this very day on planet earth. You realize that you are so specially picked, chosen, by the Lord the day you were born and that even took place way back in eternity. You are his. Never be afraid. And together as the Holy Church we can go forward as his witness and the result is beautiful. May the Lord bless you and give you the grace and the boldness to be his witness. Amen.